Halley, the Moth Twins, three years old and already seasoned veterans of multiple ear infections. I would say that Ben had probably had maybe two or three ear infections before the time he was maybe six months old. Ear infections are a painful prospect as fluid and pressure builds up in the ear. The first sign for many kids is a spike in temperature. I knew Ben had an ear infection because he would get that fever. He was congested as well and Hallie the same way. Call it a growing pain. Adults have ear tubes which sit vertically, allowing gravity to drain fluid. Young children have an immature system. In little babies and kids under three, it's you know more horizontal and flat, so it's, it's, it's not very effective. So they have a tendency to build up fluid and build up air pressure and, and if it sits, the fluid sits in there long enough, you can develop an ear infection. Given the choice between frequent doses of antibiotics, doctors earmark several scenarios in which kids might be best served by getting tiny ear tubes implanted. The most commonly performed surgery in children, the tubes alleviate fluid by ventilating the middle ear, but they're not for everyone. The reasons to do ear tubes now are if we have persistence of infection or fluid that lingers or more infections than we can keep up with, basically, um, or if there's documented hearing loss or hearing delay with speech delay. The average age for ear tubes is between one and three years old. They stay in for up to two years, then fall out naturally. Most of the time it gets them over the hump until they're normal natural ear tube kind of lengthens and straightens and goes vertical. Going with ear tubes was a sound choice for the Moss twins. Hallie has never had an ear infection since and Ben I think has had one. So when it was it went from like all the time to it's pretty much non-existent. Now these two can put their painful past behind them. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.